One thing that is encouraging, though, is as we keep hearing about medical advancements, and there's a significant one to share today. Emory made an announcement that it has developed an antibody test for COVID-19. So if someone has recovered, they can now do a blood test to make certain there is immunity in that person's system. Christy Diaz is working from home and has more on that. This is a big deal because antibodies are part of the way our body fights off a virus. And if scientists and doctors can figure out which ones protect against this virus, it could be the key to finding a treatment. I was briefed by Dr. Anish Mehta in a Zoom call this morning. It's a real landmark achievement. He says it's a simple blood test. All it takes is one vial of blood to find out if someone has had the virus, no matter how severe or mild their symptoms. This alone will be helpful in figuring out how widespread this virus really is. Once they send the blood to the lab, Emory says they'll be able to get results within 24 hours. Right now, it's only available to Emory patients, healthcare workers, and employees, but they plan to offer it to the public down the road. As we move forward, our Emory Medical Labs is really looking to scale up this test and hopes to reach a goal of being able to do 5,000 tests per day, hopefully by mid-June. So what happens next? If they find out you have antibodies that protect against COVID-19, Dr. Mehta says they might invite those people back to collect more blood to gather antibodies and plasma and use it as a potential therapy for people who are still sick. This test, I think, is going to be vitally important, not only to identifying people who have become infected, but also as we offer it to a broader audience, be able to really detect the impact COVID-19 has had in communities. There's no specific timeline on when this will be available to the public, but Dr. Mehta says they're working on ways people could potentially do this test at home. They hope to have an update on that in the coming weeks.